An anonymous survey was taken by some of the students and faculty members at Sanborn Regional High. One of the questions asked is if they thought students had enough time to stretch and move around in class or between class periods. About half of the teachers and faculty that took the survey agreed with this statement and believes that yes, students do have enough time to move on. But only one in every ten students thinks that we have enough time to move about and have a stretching period. The rest disagree and think no students do not have enough time to move around during the day. Miss Hayes has one of the longest blocks of the day, sixth block with the freshmen in Algebra 1. She has a very strong opinion in this standing argument. Do you think that if kids had a break halfway through class, they'd pay attention better in the second half? I do. I do. I think if we had for the long classes, I think it would be better. Miss Stone also added some personal opinions in putting a break between long classes in two. Do you think students should be able to have a break halfway between hour-long classes? Not hour-long classes, but I think if the class is 90 minutes, then they should have a break. Another teacher that has a variety of students also put his opinion into the equation, Mr. Jacobs. Do you think that kids would pay attention better in the second part of class if they had a break halfway through to go to the bathroom or get a drink? Um, I actually, I, I don't think so. I think taking a, a group break would be even more disruptive, actually, uh, to the classroom flow. Because I know that most teachers actually give breaks during class and have different activities going on, and you're rarely sitting for the entire class period to begin with. So, you know, I think at this age level, uh, the bathroom water breaks are not uh, a biological necessity uh, on that kind of frequency. So, 